Hi, I'm Richard Watts, founder of HR Maritime. Welcome to Commodities Brief, the show all about commodity trading in partnership with Duke's Copy TV. Today we're going to be having a look at the different types of commodities. And so commodities can be split up into various different se se uh, segments. We can either split them down into soft, hard oils, or we can look at agri, metals, liquid. And so it really depends how we're looking at it. So for this, we're going to look at agricultural goods. Then we're going to have a look in the next episode at metals oil, uh, and minerals. And then we're going to look at liquid commodities and oil. So as far as agricultural commodities are concerned, what we're really talking here about is commodities that have been grown and farmed. So these are some of the oldest trades that exist and they've been around for many, many, many years. And effectively what we're doing is we are taking goods from, from fertile areas and we're transporting them over to infertile areas. We're also talking about moving goods out of season. So being able to provide markets in Europe with the goods that we would not usually be able to get if we had to grow them locally. It's a wide range of commodities. We're talking about dairy goods, we're talking about grains and feedstuffs, we're talking about soft commodities such as rice and coffee, we're looking also at uh, farm animals, livestock, and so it's a very, very, very broad area of the commodity section and there are very, very specific areas involved in it. So if we're looking at the agricultural business then we have to look at the different methods of transportation of these goods. So we have bagged commodities, and so goods that are transported as bagged commodities, these often need to be handled physically by labourers. So they'll be going into vessels and physically loading these bags into cranes and taking them out. It's very, very laborious and we tend to see it in areas which are less developed. These bags will usually be about 50 kilos. Then we also have bulk commodities. So when we're looking at the bulk transportation of commodities, here we're normally talking about larger quantities. We're talking about areas which are much, much better developed. And so we usually have cranes on the shore which can handle the movement of the commodities. And we're usually talking about a large amount of homogenous goods. Then we also have commodities which are transported by container. And so these are commodities which are maybe more fragile, where there is more chance of them being damaged, where we are transporting them in smaller lots. And we'll get into it a little bit later, but we're seeing a rapid movement of commodities from bulk or bagged to being transported in containers. So the type of vessels that we use for dry, for soft commodities, for agricultural commodities, we have a whole range in sizes from the very, very small barges all the way up to massive Panamax vessels of 80,000 tons of cargo, which are the largest size that can fit through the Panama Canal. In terms of agricultural commodities, we also have a number of risks. The two major risks are probably going to be mould and infestation by insects. And so it's important to be aware of the water content of the commodities and also to fumigate those commodities on a regular basis. That's all we have time for in this episode of Commodity Brief. I'm Richard Watts. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been in partnership with Dukoscopy TV. Please click back soon.